Hey, Rabbit. In Durham Bandy town out west, back in the early 1932, the Great Depression was a pest. The town had goats a few. There was another source of meat if you ran a rabbit trap. Cross the riverbed to Garfield, catch a bunny there, old chap. Cross the old blonde. Every sand hill had its rabbit. Step round the holes, old mate. The palms ate them from habit. Good tucker on your plate. Young Charlie Brummel earned the quid. His old rabbit on his skin. Walked in darkness with the lantern did. Though he was small and thin. The swagman carried a rabbit trap and lived on lovely rabbit. Wouldn't eat the master's sheep. This was their code of habit. Oh, he lived on lovely rabbit till the mixo came along. His skin had made the slouch out for our Aussie soldiers strong. But the hungry squatter did it hate, took the rabbit from our song. Good tucker in the bush, old mate, I've said it all along. We live in a desert country where the drought is always feared. Kill the bunny and, the, and every one tree, farmer smarty interfered. Farmer smarty stole our rabbit, so then we had 80 sheep. Ate them lovely chops of habit, smarty farmer he did weep. Yes, they stole the bagman's bunny, so the bagman ate his sheep, as in Walsh and Matilda sunny, lamb chops old diggers eat. Live off the lamb with a rabbit trap, box of matches and a pocket knife. Shell shock soldiers would adapt, bagman with no social life. They were then first world war blokes. Uh, shell shocked and have their minds and just travel on the road, living on rabbit. If the trees keep back the desert, if the hungry farmer knew, would he let us saddle and live his life from Brisbane to Baku? Note. Mix of meatosis made the rabbits uh, matry eyed sick and no good for eating. An awful death. The original germ warfare, copied by the Yanks and whoever else. The hungry squatter made an awful mistake picking on the bunny with mix of meatosis and uh, sick rabbits everywhere. Now, from the 50s, thousands of the master's sheep were eaten. Squatters stole the bagman's bunny, so why not eat his sheep? And uh, thousands did and still do today. A bush tradition. But earlier in the 20s and 30s, the poor lived on lovely rabbit. It was a free feed Australia-wide. You would never starve. Thousands of men walked the country carrying a rabbit trap. You couldn't draw the dole in the same place in the 1930s depression. Seven shillings and sixpence, 75 cents if you like. In the next police station town, that's what you got. These resource, resourceful men became tough soldiers in the 1940s. Second World War, used to very little tucker, scram, and living on, sleeping on the ground. The boys would uh, trap a few rabbits and skin them, so money was to be had for the skins used to make slash hats. And a couple of bunnies to the local hotel to feed the customers. The always hungry squatter, farmer, landowner saw a free feed for the poor and it wouldn't do. Free tucker for them? No. The worker mightn't have to work for the master. Not on. Sure, it, sure they were in plague proportions at a few places and uh, filmed as such. We saw that. But definitely not everywhere though. Most places just had a few rabbits. Sure they dug burrows and sand hills but you could always walk around the holes, couldn't you? Unless you were there in the dark at night for some reason. <laughs> Surely a thinking person might encourage a good tucker animal to survive in our constant drought environment, where our rabbit does well, by Don Johnson. So there you go, that's all about the bunny. <laughs>